I created Gojek on the basis that I was quite frustrated because I'm lazy, I don't want to wait in traffic. I need things fast and super practical. Everyone needs food, transportation, and a way to pay. It connects everything through a single app, one app to rule them all. I think we have one of the most challenging businesses uh, in the world because we deal with so many people's livelihoods and we have so many users uh, and we had to grow in such a short time span. You know, we're talking about hundreds and thousands of people notwithstanding their families. So it's an extremely delicate balancing act. In Gojek, you come in, we give you a problem and you have to solve it using whatever means and resources you have at your disposal. So it's an extremely grown-up culture of independent problem solving. Through, through teamwork. And a lot of people who don't, are not comfortable with that and just want to be told what to do will very quickly leave. And that's okay. I think being fearless and always willing to experiment and fail and learn from those failures is something that is extremely critical as a guiding principle. In the world of technology, you always have to understand what you do not know. Uh, people who think that they already become an expert will close themselves off to new opportunities and new situations and become very biased. I'm a very heavy Gojek app user. Like I eat from there, I send my stuff around, my documents around from there. I transport on two wheelers five, six times a day because it's just so much faster. You know, once you get past the heat and a little bit of the, the shakiness. In terms of apps, you know, Google Maps is probably my biggest used app. In terms of gadgets, I have my iPhone 7. I'm always up to date with my newest iPhone, uh, but I do, I do like some Androids as well, but not, not, a, not anything else, yeah. I don't have like an Apple Watch or anything like that, yeah. No, no Fitbits for me. I don't like things around my wrists so much. Okay,